And I hated Nirvana when they came out. A bunch of hippies, you know. I don't like everything when it comes out. I love them now. But they're hippies going, you know, I, we like the Sex Pistols. You don't look nothing like the Sex Pistols. I took this shit really serious. You know, calling fuckers out and this, that, and the other. And, uh, you know, I, th I called them a bunch of lumberjacks that, you know, but man, you know, time goes by. I've been on the road and, and the guy from Mud, Steve Turner from Mud Honey took me on a full Kurt Cobain tour in Seattle of every bar he went to and who was there and who he met. And dude, it was such a blast. And I had total new respect for that whole grunge scene whole different respect because I listened and went, okay, I'm, what's up with these grunge dudes? Because, you know, I'm getting tired of hating things I don't know anything about. Like rap. I didn't know anything about it. I hated it for years. Now I have a huge respect for that music. And the dudes that were, that brought it in, you know, Run DMC. I, I love the Beastie Boys, you know, and, uh, Whatever, uh, my chick knows a little bit about it, and I learned I learned some stuff. It's like interesting. This, these guys, I used to master my record when we were on uh, Hellcat, and uh, they had a bunch of these rap bands that were like, you know, million dollar contracts show up with their briefcase, gold handcuffs, out of these SUV or those what a Hummers. Bullet, I mean, like, I'd be sitting out on the steps this is at Oasis master, Mastering in L.A. Man, it was intimidating. Like, four of those things pull up. Who's that, you know? It's somebody I don't know, but they're gnarly. And you know they've got guns. So you just, like, sit there and go, whoa. And I, uh, Gene, uh... Over there, I can't remember his last name. Anyway, right now, but uh, Gene would be like, dude, like some gnarly stories when they break out the coke and guns, you know, and and then they want it to sound a certain way and everything's on him. Wow. But okay, anyway, back to the bombs. Waking up and going, Dwayne, you remember? Okay, I remember I was like, what, should I, a bunch of you guys are like, don't apologize to these people, Dwayne. Don't. And I did. I mean, I got total chaos going, what the hell's going on? I mean, they could say whatever they want every night. It's like, Babylon, fake news everywhere, blah, 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 blah. I can't say any of that. No, you cannot. <laughs> oh, why? What's, what's, because they hate you, Dwayne. That's why I'm not on Slope Records. The guy told me, all the bands hate your guts. <laughs> I'm like, why? Because I love America? No, they're saying the bumper sticker. What gives them the, why would I ever be like that? I mean, the guy that I just kicked out is, is of Mexican descent. How How is this, how can I be a, a bigot or a racist? What, because I told people, illegals, that's illegal. Illegals to go home last Christmas. Hey, I take it back. I, I don't apologize, but I take it back. Hey, it pissed off everybody. I live in California. Hey, it's your guys' state. I grew up here. But whatever, man, I, I've been on the road. Now I've been home for five years. I went on probation. I quit all the companies. I thought I'd be a hero. I, I thought that I'd get to ride for different companies. But it's like, dude, you quit the companies. You committed career suicide. What? I thought I was like, he told all the companies to fuck off, even independent. He's the dude that invented the indie air. He said, fucking, this is killer. Fuck, he, what's going on? Now everybody quit indie. It's cool after a couple of years, but the rocks were thrown. I had my reasons, man. It's nothing like it used to be, bros and, and girls. Anyway, 
and you know these other these dinosaur reptilian owners that I grew up with they're still around and it's like you know what fuck that guy fuck that guy and I wake up to people that quit their jobs to be on the road with me going Dwayne we lost two more shows why they're calling the I don't know does George Soros pay these people he does for other any for I would say that he is if I'm out there and I'm that guy because I I actually love our country. I'm gonna keep it to myself now. I don't, you know, I don't need to tell you guys. That, you know, hey, you have a different point of view. That's cool. That makes us all different. I like that. But then when you watch these debates, nobody on that far left seems to want to debate. They just want to call it out the way it is. They want you in shame. They want you know they they. Now, uh, resistance never can apologize or own up to their part. Uh, common sense is retarded. Everything switched. I had no idea that punk rock and skateboarding were so over there. I didn't know that. I, I would, I would, man, it would have really helped me not to say a fucking word about what I, be, what I, you know, evil Knievel. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm raised very poor and we had to have someone like evil Knievel to look up to and he loved America and he loved God. And I thought it was so punk rock the way he would talk about those things because these other people that love God make me want to go to hell. Because it's like, it sounds like purgatory in heaven with all these scriptures. And we've got it. And don't cut, you know. Are you fucking kidding me? Character, man. You don't think character is in heaven? I mean, death. That sounds like death. That sounds like hell to me. But that's my opinion. Can I have it? Or do I have to fucking zip it up? Because you're not going to get to work tomorrow morning. Nobody wants to you on their skate team, Dwayne. Thank God for punk sticks. And Bad Grease, thanks for taking me on. Going took me on for two years. I signed a two-year contract. They sold right at the end of that two years. <laughs> and so later, I got a few extra sets of trucks, but they paid me. Independent paid me for two checks, $50, when it started. Uh, you got paid every two weeks, 50 bucks. It was the deal, and I got two checks later. But, you know, whatever. They, they did a truck for me. That was cool. They put my stripes on it. But where's my name, bro? Like like uh, Danny Way got his name on it. You know, that pissed me off. I let it go. Stant socks on my pipe socks. Where's my name, bro? I'm pumping the hell out of these. I'm... I made them like five, six different sock designs. Skull candy. We're, we, me, Cab, and, and a soy all got on there. They paid us. I mean, those, these were paying days. Anyway, and we were supposed to get our own headphones and design our own headphones. They hired Snoop Dogg. Okay, the guy is rich. I, this is how companies work. And they buy him a quarter million dollar pinky ring like he needs another one. And they, and they put out the Snoop Dogg head. It's over, even for Cab and Asoy. I actually got paid a year longer than those two, that, which made no sense. But I also drove the van around. I did all their street cred stuff. Nobody knew who the hell they were, but they made really good socks. They had a little sock factory underneath the place in San, San Clemente. And these full nerd dudes with which is weave sock with these different materials and nylons and whatevers to make these really strong. I love that stuff. It's like mad scientists at work under here, well funded. Hey, go go go! I'm not here to promote any of these dudes. Anyway, those they all turned on me. I I you know hey can we re? I tried to re talk to some of these dudes. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey man, I went off. I'm, you know my son died. I. 
I, you know, I was actually thinking subliminally, I'm going, kill me. Someone, I blew up my, sh my foot. I'm on probation for something I didn't do. I'm fucking over this shit. Kill me. How about these guys? How about these guys? Nobody killed me. Now I got to say I'm sorry. I'm still here. So I'm sorry. I said it. Now moving on. When Jay Adams was alive one time, I, I had to, I've been apologizing damage control forever. When I had Facebook, Jay would meet, we thought he did one time, I, whatever. They all ganged up on me and I just went back on him. And then I, I apologize. And Jay calls me, goes, Dwayne. If you ever, uh, do not ever apologize, ever again. You do not have to apologize. Don't, I, I, hey, I didn't for a long, I went, dude, thank you, man. Thanks for being my bro. And not like flipping the coin and going, I'm going with, I'm on the fence. I just go with whoever's whatever. And these are harsh words to just tag a dude with, you know, you I don't deserve it. I've been doing this all my life. When punk rock was new, I, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> there it is, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <clears throat> I even have a song called I'm Not Sorry with the gunfight. But anyway, I'm not in a big hurry to go on the road. But I am kind of. I hope we find some fans again. We're gonna have to do. We got kicked off the label. They took the bus away. People are like, whatever. I don't even know if they look. They, we got great songs with the last record. That guy. It was the hardest record to do. I mean, we got. The guy was on the phone with the studio guys. He fired them. The first round of dudes. It was just set up to be a horrible record and we, we got through it. This guy starts his own band because he's becoming 50, he's never been in a band before. His name's Tom Lopez. Hey, love you Tom, still. Even though, like what the hell happened bro? He wanted to start his band, he did. Everything that he was gonna do with me, he hired these band dudes for the Dwayne gang and then he, we, he, videotaped us writing these songs. We wrote like 11 songs in four hours, me and the guitar player guy. He's like, wow. So he grabs all these guys. I take those songs, put them on the bombs record. He grabs those guys and starts the blanks. Cool, it's another band and kind of new wavy, cool. And the guy who started, he's an incredible musician, you know? So, hey, I'm down with all this. But he, they all got weird. And I didn't know that everyone on the label was such a, a extreme left, per leftist people. I don't know, but I don't hate anybody. I really don't. I try to just be sto stoked that people are people and we're all different. We can all keep learning the whole time. Anyway, I'm gonna put this up longer than shit, right? But I hope you guys, I hope we still got some fans out there. I really do want to get like back to being busy and getting out of the politics. Hey man, more power, I'm not, I lost my booking agent in Europe. He won't, he can't even touch me. I, you know, I had some dudes from Germany here yesterday at the party, it was so cool. They're like, dude, we miss you. That was nice to hear. I, I hope, I hope that we can all move along anyway. Because I, otherwise, I gotta quit. I it's like this is not the punk rock I I was I joined up on. You know, we liked different bands and going. To, Whoa, look at what they're doing! Not what's already been done. And look at how we're muddying up the water. And snowflake, snowflake, snowflake. I mean, everybody thinks they're a judge now because they got the, a little computer in front of them, they all get to say whatever the fuck, you don't have to earn anything anymore. What the hell's going on? All right, see you guys later.